Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So, part two of my huge haul from gbfke.com. Uh, thank you to them for sending me these. It's marvellous of them. I love getting products from them and I love the products that they send. Uh, there are lots of special offers still on the website if you go and check that out at gbfke.com. They do have a Facebook group as well, if you want to go and check out their Facebook group and uh, see what offers are put on there as well. And there is uh, free shipping on orders over €59, Euros, so it's always worth checking out the special offers. So these are the products that I've got from a Asevi haul that I got from them. So we have a canvas, we have a little drill, smaller drill project there. And we have a little dinky little do gadget. Okay, you do you know how I like my little gadgets? So if you get a lot of your gems stuck together, uh, it happens sometimes with crystals and your acrylic and resin gems. Then this is a separator. So and I've actually not got any that are stuck together at the moment, which is a shame. Uh, it's just like a little grinder, basically. And all you do is pop your gems into here and then pop the lid on. And as you turn it, it just separates the drills off. It moves them. You can do it by squashing two trays together, but I find this is a little bit more effective. And I don't very often have two little green trays to hand when I suddenly find that I've got quite a few gems stuck together. It has got like a little uh, magnet in each side. So the lid and the base both have a little magnet. So when you put it on, it's easy to close and it stays shut. Um, I'm not sure if you've got a load of gems in that that would hold it, but it certainly holds it when uh, you put the lid on there so yeah it's just a little gem separator it's one of those things that you don't necessarily need but you probably do want it and it's just a, <laughs> a little extra tool to use for your diamond painting and at pound sixty-six, it may just if you're looking at um if you're looking at getting your free postage, it may just be the extra £1.66 you need to spend to then get your free postage. And it's something that's useful as well. If I do come across a canvas that has got gems stuck together again, I will show you how it works. I will keep it out and I'll look out for some. But yeah, you know, they are really good. They're just like a little grinder. Uh, the wear of think originally invented for a very different purpose, which I'm not going to go into on this video. Uh, if you know, you know um but yeah you know it just literally puts them in uh, obviously don't do it too much because you may take some of the edges off because <laughs> if you keep going and keep going you don't want to grind them to nothing but yeah it's a really quick and easy way of just separating uh your gems your drills out so yeah very handy to have i got it as a clear one as well so that i can actually show you they do come in different colors but i thought oh um, when I've got some gems that need separating, it'll be easier to see if they're actually in a, color, a clear little pot because you can see through it and see how it works. I mean, you can see there as the base goes round, you can see how the little points all sort of like cross over each other. And as the gems are there, it shoves them out of the way and separates them out. So, yeah, quite a handy, dinky little uh, tool to have. As I say, it's not a need to have, but it's a definite on my want list and that i did used to have one and i think i gave it to somebody so i've got another one now so yeah and i have had quite a few stuck together drills recently i'm trying to think which ones there were but i can't remember what colors they are i should have kept them out but i will do next time and i will show you them okay and then this is just a fun little thing that i decided to get i do like a little bit and pieces okay and it's some norm stickers look at these so we have a set of six little norm stickers actually quite big norm stickers uh, and they've all got the little sunflowers with them and i don't like my sunflowers so we've got this one with uh, a little hat on the side there with a bow on it and a big sunflower this one looks like this is a little girl because it's got pigtails in with little bows in and she's carrying a great big sunflower and has a little flower in a hat that's more of a daisy type flower I think there. It even looks look like it's got a little heart in the middle rather than just 
um, a centre of a flower. That's really sweet. Then we've got this one with his like plaid uh, hat on. And again, a little sunflower and he's carrying two little sunflowers. This one's again got a huge sunflower and he's got his two little hands at the front. Must be really heavy because he's having to hold on to it with two hands. Then and these. Oh, so we've got three men and three ladies. Very good. So these are the two little girl ones. Um, that one. Has that one got a little like... I don't know if that's a flower. It looks a little bit like a gingerbread man to me. I'll have to see what it looks like when it's done. But I don't know whether that's a flower or not. It does. Does it look like a gingerbread man to you? <laughs> Maybe it's just my imagination running riot again. So we've got little bows in the hair. This one's got three flowers that she's carrying. She must be strong. Bow in the hats. And then this one's just got a little... Uh, sunflower on her hat as well unless she's she just oh maybe is that her hands and she's just carrying three small flowers and that's her nose possibly yeah i don't think it is a gingerbread man i think it's because that just looked like two eyes and a mouth to me uh two eyes and then a button down its front to me <laughs> but no i think it's flowers <laughs> oh i'm not safe to be let out what can i say right so we've got pen boat and wax and let's have a look at the gems. Oh, nice greens and browns and peaches. Okay, so how many colours do we have? Quite a few. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve different colours. Oh, lovely. And the price of these on the website at the moment, again, are £1.66. So for six stickers and your little tool set and all your gems, brilliant coming up to the kids' school summer holidays. Um, are they transparent stickers or do they have a white edge? Oh, no, they are transparent stickers, look. So that's great. I do prefer the transparent so that you don't have that white border on them. So they're great for like phone cases, books. Um, I might actually put these on coasters. If you remember um, in some of my past videos, I have been making coasters because they're quite a nice size to get a gem in between to uh, put them on a coaster and then just put plain gems all around them so that your coaster is nice and flat. Mm, might do that. Might have a set of six of my little gnome sticker coasters. Yes. Okay, let's have a look at these colours. So we're uh, starting off with, uh, that's like a 3865 type winter white, a pale grey, a little bit of peach. I think that could just be for noses and hands. And then an orange colour, pale lemon, a nice bright green. Oh, and a brighter orange and a dark brown and a light brown and a mid brown, a very bright orange and a very bright green. So that's a lovely colour palette. That's uh, just a little bit of fun. Um, I have had a request from my little granddaughter, uh, my youngest granddaughter. She would like to come onto my YouTube videos. So I've said, yeah, her mum said that's okay. So she will hopefully be joining me. So this one would be quite a nice little project for us to sit and do together. So we'll see how we get on. Watch this space. I should think it'll be the summer holidays now before we can get enough time together to do a little video. But uh, yeah, she loves um, YouTube. She likes watching. She watches uh, my channel as well. And uh, she said to her nana, her other nana, isn't it lovely having somebody in the family that does YouTube? <laughs> so yeah, but as my great nephew said to me, um, when he was asking about YouTube, uh, yeah, brought me down to earth, as always. Uh, he said, well, Mr. Beast's got millions of viewers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear, you got to love kids. All right, so that's my little sticker set. I think for the price, they're absolutely wonderful. They're lovely little norms. Okay, and then this is uh, one of the newer pictures that has just recently come out and as soon as i saw it i thought yes i've got to have it although the color palette isn't really um the theme that i have for these but it may go up or it may not or i'm sure i'll find somewhere else for it to go pen butt and wax oh look it's all pre-bagged it's all ready itself excellent 
and it's in those diamond bags as well. I've kept all of those diamond bags that I've been uh, sent and I just think, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I think maybe I might kit up into them, you never know, but uh, yeah, I just think they're fabulous. Just something that's got a diamond on it. <laughs> and this one is, look, it's bees. But they're not bumblebees, they are what I would call proper bees, worker bees. And it's a yin and yang of bees. So the honeycomb is in a yin yang shape. And I just thought that is stunning. I just love this picture. And we've got the bee flat with his wings out. And then we've got the sideways on bee as well. Fantastic. Love it. It's 20 different gems and colours. It is a round canvas. So it's round gems. Just give it a bit of a flat now. It's got a little bit squidged coming through the post. But something heavy on this will just uh, flatten it out and you'll tend to find that canvases uh, that are full drill do tend to flatten out anyway once they've got the gems on. But uh, yeah, this will just go under something heavy. It's just as it's been wrapped around the drill. It's come a long way. These bees have had a tiring journey. It's a good job they've not flown all the way, isn't it? <laughs> uh, speaking of which... Um, this order from GBFKE, they do seem to be coming through a lot faster now. Uh, any postal problems that we've had in the past couple of years seem to have sort of gone and things are coming through now in like um, 10 to 14 days. days. Um, a couple of parcels that I've had recently have come a little bit less as well. So, you know, don't worry that you are ordering from uh, companies because they're not taking that long to come through anymore. Obviously, it depends on your country, but here in the UK, I'm certainly from ordering um, and getting my tracking number to receiving my parcels. It's been pretty quick these days. So, yay, loving that. Okay, so this background, it looks like it's a lot of the W, but there is others in between it as well. So it's not just all one single colour. Mm. Darker colour palette. So it's one that um, I personally will have to do during the day because I do still find, even with my magnifying light, that on a night I really can't see which way up um, darker coloured gems are. I can do the lighter colours, but I just can't do the darker colours. So I always tend to try and do those during the day. And again, this is a kit really that you don't need anything else. You've got your pen, boat and wax. So that's your tool kit to do your painting. It's already kitted up into little banks. So you don't even need a pair of scissors for this one. You could just literally crack on with it wherever you are. <laughs> Dear. Let's have a quick look at these colours and see what we've got. And yay, well done GBFKE because they have put the canvas number on the bags. Sometimes when you get these style of grip seal bags that are already sort of kitted up for you, you don't have anything to indicate which these drills belong to. But they have actually put this number on here. So that's really, really good. Um, if it's not on, always just pop a little label on yourself because you don't want to get to a point where you take out your canvas, think, right, I'm going to do this one, and then suddenly think, ah, which drills went with it? <laughs> I suppose, to be fair, you could possibly work it out yourself. Okay, so let's have a look at these. Right, so we have number one and number, so number one is uh, 310 yes it is a nice big bag of 310 that's quite a bit of the background number two is a very dark gray number three is you like chestnutty brown right put these all upside down look do you know these were probably all in a lovely order and uh, i've just completely tipped them all out all over now so let's see if we can put them back into order and have a look at that. And there's number five. So where's number four gone? Is it going to be the last one I pick up? No. Three. There's number four. It's the one that's looking at me. Look, it's saying, hello, I'm over here. <laughs> so that's a lovely, like, greeny blue colour. Number five is like a sagey, greeny, sort of taupey colour. And, uh, oh, what was that noise? Ooh, say strange noise coming from outside. Goodness me, some sort of creaking noise. Number six is like another sage green colour there, very muted green. 
Number seven is a little bit of pale lemon. Number eight is 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 somewhere here. Uh, number eight is hiding, and that's like a, a stone pale grey colour. Number nine I have just seen is your chestnut brown colour. And number ten is looks like 939, your very deep blue colour. So let's put those away to start off with. Get in your packet, that's it. And then number 11 is another dark brown colour. Number 12 is another sagey green colour. 13 is a very dark greeny grey colour. 14, where are you? 14 is ooh, a brown colour, a very dark brown colour. Uh, 15 is this lovely pale green colour. That's a nice fresh green. I like that one. Uh, 16 is a mid blue colour, that's like an indigo denim type colour. 17 is your grey blue colour. 18 we're back to a sort of a mid brown again. 19 is again a jade green. And 20 is a little bit of a like a beige colour. Okay, so that is all of those colours. Right those in there okay there are quite a few of these different yin yang type pictures uh, around at the moment i did see i'm sorry i can't remember who did it but i did see somebody had done the elephant one and gbfke do have the elephant picture as well and it does look stunning i have to say uh, once it's completed so i'm looking forward to doing this one i don't like my bees okay so we've had our lovely bee canvas We've got our cute little gnomes. It's got to be cute if it's a Liz unboxing. There's got to be some cute in there somewhere with the gorgeous little colour palette. And then our little tool for just separating your drills out. Just a dinky little doodah that's a handy little extra to have. Okay, uh, the price of this canvas as well is £4.31. So, yeah, brilliant prices on them as always. Well, Thank you ever so much, GBFK, for sending me these. Um, I shall enjoy doing them as always. They look super products. If you've enjoyed looking at these with me, a thumbs up is always very much appreciated. Any comments or questions in the comments down below. Don't forget to go and check out gbfke.com's website and see what special offers are on and look at the different ones of these as well. And if you want to come back and see what I get up to next, then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell next to it, you'll be notified when any of my videos come out. So you're not going to miss anything. Yay! OK, thanks ever so much for stopping by. And I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.